Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Whoa, you wanna see hi? <laughs> Today I am doing a little reset with me for the new semester. Most people do this for the new year. I was in bed for like the last two weeks, just relaxing, watching movies, hanging out with my parents. I'm currently on winter break from college. I've done a lot of nothing, <laughs> basically, and just a lot of relaxing and hanging out, basically. Well, my big thing all of break was applying to grad schools. Um, I had to get all those done. Also, the presidential elections are so freaking annoying. Can they stop sending me texts like every second of every day? Anyways, today I'm doing a little reset with me for the new semester. It is currently January 14th. I was supposed to be heading back today. Let me show you why I'm not heading back today. Okay, I'm trying to show it in the snow. This is why I'm not heading back today. Um, it looks gorgeous right now, but it is like, I think the feels like temp is at negative 30. So they deemed that it is too cold for us to have our first day of classes in person, which actually weren't until Tuesday. So today's Sunday, but Tuesday's classes are going to be all online or canceled, depending on what the professors want to do. So I'm just heading back on Tuesday. I don't... <laughs> I have three classes Tuesday, but only one of them has sent a Zoom link so far. So I have no idea if my other two classes are even, are even happening. But yeah, I'm just gonna head back Tuesday. I'm most, my brother's car didn't start this morning. My boyfriend's truck didn't start this morning. So I'm very nervous to take my car out of my garage and keep it outside for like the next month. Cause I, we have outdoor parking at my apartment and I just, I'm kind of delaying keeping my car out of the garage for as long as I can to avoid these cars, my car not starting. I'm gonna do my online classes either here and then go after or go in the morning before my online classes start. So I kind of get like a little head start. A little bit. I was supposed to be going back today. It's been so bad. It's been, the wind has died down, which the wind was the worst part because it was blowing the snow everywhere and you could like barely see on the roads and on the interstate, the interstate was closed. Like it was crazy. So I'm trying to delay that as much as I can and go back Tuesday, but prep work starts now because I'm leaving Tuesday morning. So today and tomorrow are kind of my prep days and then Tuesday I have a lot to do too. So right now I need to clean my room and start packing because if I'm leaving in less than 48 hours, I need to start getting my stuff together and I am gonna probably come back with like double what I came here with. I feel like that always happens over Christmas break, especially with Christmas presents and stuff. So I think I have a lot of packing ahead. So that's what we're gonna do now. <laughs> this is all my laundry that's all been done. I have to sort through what I'm gonna wear the next few days. <laughs> These, this pile of books I brought to read. Most of those are going back with me. All of this stuff. These are all brand new books. They're all going back with me. New shoes going back with me. This little pile of stuff right here is going back with me. I mean, we've got a lot. <laughs> we've got a lot to sort through and make sure that I have all of it so that I can bring it back. And it's gonna be a lot of work. So we're starting now. <laughs> this coat is. I got it for Christmas. It's by Columbia. It's so cute. I 
also got this jacket for Christmas. It's from Hollister. And it's like fur lined, like the entire thing except for the sleeves. And it's so comfy. Look at that. My favorite thing ever. I have this sweatshirt. I thrifted it from Goodwill. Every time I wear it, people ask me where I got it. And I think it's before they read it because it's like the Dallas County, Iowa courthouse shirt. <laughs> I don't know, but it's like the best material and it's a little mock neck. So it looks so cute on, but everybody always asks and then they kind of read it and they're like, oh, <laughs> like it's kind of weird. <laughs> with these two bags full of clothes and they are busting open and I still have all of these to put in but these are for the next few days and then I still have like some jeans some sweatshirts that I brought those are all just gonna have to stay here till I come back home and like my underwear and stuff I haven't even packed I don't even know where all that's going <laughs> but I came with only two bags of clothes and I I don't know how I fit that all in there made some hot chocolate. I would show you the outside, but I don't want to show you where I live. <laughs> but it is beautiful out. It's just really cold. <laughs> but now I'm going to tackle my backpack. I feel like my backpack gets really gross or just like full of stuff. Like look at my pencil case. This was clear and I know it's because I put pencils in here and like all the lead like drew all over it, but I just feel like it gets really gross and I like I'll throw like my snap my snap I'll throw my snack wrappers in here this is a crossword that's gonna get thrown away I have tissues because I am always blowing my nose like see rice krispies <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna clean that out and then I think I'm gonna be done for this portion <laughs> of today <laughs> Good morning. It is <laughs> not morning at all. Good afternoon. Gosh. Good afternoon. It is Monday the 15th. It is 2 p.m. Now is like my favorite time and my favorite thing to do and that is revamping my Google Calendar and updating it with my new semester. I'm gonna put all of my classes and I'm gonna look at my syllabus for each class. One of my classes still hasn't put it out and the first day is tomorrow. So I don't know why they're doing that, but for all of the syllabus that I have, for all the classes that have a syllabus, I am going to put all of the exams, assignments, all of that on my Google Calendar. I would show you, but I don't want people knowing when I'm at school and stuff. So instead, when I get back to my apartment um, at college, I'm going to show you when I fill out my physical whiteboard calendar because that is even more fun than my Google calendar. So I'm gonna fill that out with you guys and that'll just be like with all the exams and stuff. This is gonna have all of my classes, every, every required thing of mine, like clubs and events and all of that is going on right now. So I'm gonna do that. You won't see it. <laughs> I'll show you when I do my whiteboard. I am also the head of a club at my school. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's a very, very chill and very laid back club, but I'm going to send an email to all of the other leaders so that we can set up a little meeting this week. We have a new girl on the leadership team that we inducted <laughs> last semester um, and we have yet to work with her. So I'm just gonna send kind of like a welcome email and I'm gonna see when they're available this week to meet so that we can start planning for the club this semester, which is really fun. I love this, love this part. <laughs> I left right at 8, which is what I wanted, so I'm 
glad about that. And the roads are good where I'm at right now, but where I go to school is apparently where they get super, super dicey. So I'm not excited about that, but that's a problem for me in an hour, <laughs> for future me, and not for right now. If you saw the last clip, my to-do list is already so big, and only two out of my four classes for this for the next few weeks I have one that starts after spring break. Only two out of my four classes have posted their icon sites, and so I only have those classes assignments that I can look at. I don't even know what I have to do for the other two because those guys haven't posted them yet. And I'm already jam-packed with only two classes worth. So I have a very busy day, a very big to-do list on my phone, but the first thing is to get there <laughs> so I can do my online class. I also have a bunch of groceries in my trunk. We went grocery shopping yesterday for me so I wouldn't have to do it in the cold. Gotta get over for this truck. Let's lights on. I'm heading back now. The sun is the worst part. I literally, I have sunglasses, but they're really ugly, so I'm not showing you them. <laughs> but I'm trying to block my eyes with my rear view mirror, as you can see by this. <laughs> yeah, today is a very big, productive day. And you're gonna keep me accountable for doing all of that. Oh, here comes the sun. Gotta go. Awesome. I just hauled all of that in from the cold it's so my fingers are numb now i have to unpack <laughs> I do for it. Um, I'm thinking green. I just finished my first class. It is now 12.06. My next class is at 12.30, but it's also online because winter. So I'm going to try to be super productive these next 30 minutes and try to get all this unpacked. It's going to be a lot, but we got it. <laughs> I'm all unpacked now. I need to get a snack. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten since breakfast and then log on to my 1230. We're trying to learn new material that's done almost entirely through linguistic media. Ugh, I know, stupidly. Embracing the cold, I have to go get groceries and take my trash out. I'm so scared somebody's gonna take my good parking spot that I got because all of our spots are plowed in, and I got one that's kind of flat. Somebody's so gonna take it. Oh well. <laughs> myself.
it's now three something and I'm starting to hit a wall. I kind of forgot that like just being stressed <laughs> exhausts you so much. It takes so much energy just to be thinking <laughs> about all the things you have to do. I don't know, but I laid in bed. I had some YouTube time. I watched Carrie Can Reads, or I guess I watched some of her main videos, her last two main vlogs on Carrie Cakes YouTube. I watched those. And now I have some stuff that I can do just on my computer from bed. So I'm just gonna knock those out. And then I'm gonna do my absolute favorite part, which is filling out that physical calendar over there. I don't know if you can see it. There's my tripod. I have this big physical whiteboard that I fill out with everything that I need to for the month. And I'm gonna do that so that I can visually see everything that I need to get done. It's gonna be very fun, but I'm just so tired. <laughs> so I had some buttered noodles and a roll for my lunch. Yeah, so I'm gonna get these done. <laughs> I had to move locations because I was not getting anything done in my bed. I got two quizzes done, which were both like 10 minutes to take they were so easy they were one of them was like a syllabus quiz like they weren't even using my brain power but i still couldn't could not do them i mean i did them but you know what i mean <laughs> now i need to read a chapter from one of my textbooks and i got it on kindle well, i got it through like my amazon subscription because it was cheaper on there and now it just like shows up on my kindle app apparently like a whole textbook it said it only works on like the mac because my kindle doesn't have the adequate framework to hold a whole textbook i guess so we're gonna see what this does oh my gosh this is my textbook that i'm reading you just turn the page this is very cool. I haven't done this on a Kindle. There it is. There's my candle. My cozy little lamp. I still have fall decor up because before I left for break, I thought it was still fine to have. <laughs> but now, I'm going to do some reading. This is very cool on my Kindle. That's just like a lot of work <laughs> it's a lot of readings like textbooks which I didn't have last semester I had didn't have like any textbooks to read at all so I'm really out of my depth with this because reading textbooks takes me literally two hours to do a chapter so that's really awesome <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna ignore this. And I did a lot for today. It was my first day, but now, now I need to shower and then I'm gonna finally fill out my physical whiteboard back there. I'm very excited. We are getting so organized. So I am actually gonna do like a mix month kind of thing. I'm gonna do these last two weeks of January, but then obviously because the other two weeks have already passed, we're gonna do the first two weeks of February. So let's go. Now I go through and write down when I work, when I have research meetings, when I have other random meetings with other people, when I have club meetings, when I have reading quizzes due and assignments due, 
I do all of it. We're gonna put work in first. Another big thing that I have are research meetings. So we also have case study meetings. Now I'm gonna go in and put in my big like projects and exams and not just like mini reading quizzes. Those will be next, but I'm gonna put in any big stuff that I have in these next five weeks. I think that's the only big stuff I have as far as right now I'm gonna double check as I look through and now I'm gonna do all of the mini stuff and these are things that are actually due not just like oh, I have to read a chapter or I have to fill out this thing like these are like quizzes that are due see how many quizzes I have? I'm hoping they're all on Quizlet because if they're not, that's going to be tough. Oh, I also have, we got to put in a little club. I have my club that I lead in February. That is all for my reset with me for the new semester. I, <laughs> safe to say that I'm very stressed, especially just looking at this. That's insane. I, I bet most of them are on Quizlet and I'll still do the readings and stuff to like learn the material. But usually when classes do Quizlets or do quizzes, especially like weekly quizzes like this. They're usually all on Quizlet for previous students who have done them. They usually don't cycle through different questions because that would be a lot of questions to like keep coming up with new ones. So usually they're all on Quizlet. So I'm gonna hope that they are because that all that means is that I don't have to put as much pressure on myself to like really like anxiety read the readings. I can just read them enjoy it not enjoy them but just like read them and actually take in the information without having to like scribble down every piece of information in case it's on the quiz i know if they're on quizlet that i can at least get them right and i don't have to stress through the reading as hard so i'm gonna just hope and pray that that's the case because i bet it is i bet it is that's it for me I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it made you want to be productive yourself, maybe organize your life a little better. This kind of stuff helps me so much. Writing it down multiple times in multiple areas helps me so much. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.